The Ableton Live interface is really built around what I call plug-in mechanics. And what I mean by that is that primary layout of the interface is really structured around the ability to drag and drop materials between different elements of the screen. So for example, we have these sections that are clearly cordoned off right here, which is your library. You have your groove pool right here, which you can drag on to audio clips. Down here you have effects and instruments that you can add. Up in this middle section is the main part of the view, which is where you add all your clips and you can add instruments. So for example, I could add a, um, I could add a bell part here. Then if I wanted to add effects to that, I could add a uh, compressor and things just pile up down here. Here I have audio tracks. If I wanted to add samples, I could go into my library. I could pull out some break beats, take the Amen Brother break, drag it here. I have a clip down here. If I wanted to change the timing of that particular sample, then I could actually go into my groove pool. If I want it to sound like an old MPC style drum machine with a certain swing to it, I could drag that right onto the audio clip, just like what I just did. And of course, I can also just drag plugins as I as I would with any digital audio workstation. So here I, I've dragged the Artura Mini Moog, and you see that that just shows up right inside of the live session view. These plugin mechanics really contribute to this modular feeling of the live interface, and also the feeling that it's that all the elements of the interface are transparent and open to the user, and that lends a certain. Um, feeling of non-linearity and openness to the workflow.